Alright, we're checking out the only game where the thing that spike strips are good for is deflating my sanity, it's GTA. We wanted to put police spike strips up against cars in GTA, and so we've created a brand new challenge. Using these different stab-worthy vehicle choices, I'm gonna have to try and get through this gauntlet of police spike strips, each section worse than the last. There's normal spike strips, and wall spike strips, and even Guitar Hero spike strips. I'm gonna need some tires in order to have any chance of getting through to the end, so we're gonna see if the tires get stabbed, or if I stab my computer, let's do this. Welcome to spike climbing. This is like the worst extreme ESPN sport ever made. You've had bouldering, now it's time for spike climbing. Oh God. Okay, so I got 20 seconds to complete this, but it wouldn't be a day with gray unless I used at least one or two stupid vehicles. I'm kind of surprised because I don't even know if these tires can be popped on this, on this car. Well, this car. <laughs> this go-kart. So if they can be popped, maybe I could just do the entire board with this thing, even though it's supposed to be a terrible meme car. I just don't know if I can get over some of these. The Oh, what? You got me kidding me. <laughs> I didn't know if I could get over some of these obstacles, but maybe I can. <laughs> All right, I think these are getting taller. Oh, God, it's only rear-wheel drive. This is the type of go-kart track that I wanted when I was an 11 year old. It always scared me that I would go to these go-kart, oh, <laughs> hold on, let me, I'm just stretching my neck, don't worry. I would go to these go-kart places and they would put you in a go-kart that goes like 30 miles an hour as an eight year old. <laughs> this was a terrible idea. Cute. I don't know if that's the best way to describe something that I want to try and beat a challenge with, but I mean, why not? The Mambobile looks like a meme car, but it's kind of like a dark horse just because in general, it's okay never mind oh god oh hold on we're fine we're fine everything's fine i was gonna say it's got good pickup it's got decent maneuverability i don't know how strong the tires are it looks like the tires don't just insta pop i probably could have gotten rid of my toolbox just strapped into the ceiling of the vehicle with duct tape this is the most unsafe vehicle on the roadway this is what is this uh oh god when you're traveling behind a vehicle like this, this is this is what my wife and I call a final destination vehicle. Because effectively what you're waiting for is the toolbox on top of that car to just fly off and then a circular saw bust through my windshield and sever my head or something. Okay, so far so good. This is like a new personal best. That was weird, it went right over that. What are those spikes? Those are like Christmas spikes? It looks like gigantic snowflakes. Hold on, I need to go back and do this over again because the wall came up and I didn't complete it in time and I wanna see what that text line said. So we have a spike ramp here, I just realized. At first, just my eyes were playing tricks on me. I thought it was just a normal spiky area, but it's an entire ramp, and I cannot get this done in 20 seconds with this car. <laughs> you know what? Sure, let's try the quad. Just because it's so narrow, CTR, like click-through rate, that's very, that's very YouTube of you. All right, 20 seconds. Want to get past the first challenge here. Again, the duel. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> well... Gray shoots the three-pointer and scores! I can't believe that I knocked the go-kart off of the spikes. <laughs> okay, starting at the beginning. Good speed. And whoa! Okay, that second spike really loves to just launch you in the air. I don't know what it is. Hop over. Okay, I said. Hop over this. Wow. Come on, meme car. We, we gotta have at least one meme car get through the very first challenge. Such a languid spike ramp, and I'm still not close to doing this. Whoa! <laughs> what happened? Oh, physics, where have you gone? Okay, I have to show you something. Well, first I have to face plant into the ground and then lick the concrete and then get run over by my own quad. What is going on down there? Stop that! Stop it! Okay, I, there are people blowing up on the bottom of the sound. This ramp, look at this. <laughs> this spike strip is like a reverse spike strip. It's like Uno. Look at this. Look at it. Look at how weird that is. Ow! Hey guys, I'd like to report a fire. They're like, where? Right here. Okay, I haven't seen anything that tells me that there's a tremendous amount of speed that you need in order to complete this challenge, so we're gonna try something big and powerful. Plus, there is a uh, there is a, a truck bed in the back, so I can put all of my regrets in there. All right, oh wow. 
Okay, the, the shocks are, whoa! The shocks on this thing are kind of amazing, except for the part where, you know, it loves to do entire 360 Tony Hawk spins on the spikes, hey! I shouldn't say I don't need speed because it is a time to board, but the problem, oh my God. The problem isn't so much the speed, it's getting hung up on the spikes in the weirdest ways possible. These spikes react totally inconsistently. Now I get it, it's not even just about popping the tires. Look at this. It's about the jacked up things that the spikes do to your car. It just performed like a whirlwind suplex to this Hummer. First spikes, no big deal. Second spikes can totally send you into the shadow realm, but that worked out decently well. Spike ramp, gotta watch out. You wanna be perfectly straight, otherwise it shoots you off to the right or the left. There goes my hood, wasn't using that anyway. These ones here, not bad in this vehicle. Star spikes make you get good air, but yeah, we're not fast enough. Fire department needs more work. That was a gray still place triple axle right there. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna use spikes to beat spikes. Listen, this feels like a genius idea. You can see the car is literally called ouch. What? Well, maybe spike on spike action is not the best idea. Pickup's not bad. The aerodynamics isn't even that bad, considering how much rusted metal is coated this thing. Man, look at how far I still need to get in order to beat this timed area. I wonder if I can ramp over these and get over the challenge that way. Okay. Nice double backflip right there into the palm trees. I love coconuts. Now the cool thing about arena cars is Alex usually leaves in, say the boost, and the boost can carry you pretty good. Problem is the front grill on this thing gets hung up on all the spikes. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to shove my neck into the spikes on the side of my car. It wasn't working. So the vehicle gets the same Christmas present all vehicles get, a grenade. Classic Floridian Christmas present. All right, we're not screwing around anymore. I've got five legitimate cars left. I would think any of them can, well, except for the remote control car. I would think any of them could potentially do well in this challenge. I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the Wastelander and just hope that it's the key because I haven't even gotten Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Oh, God. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Big save. That's what I'm talking about, baby. First try. Oh, what was I thinking? Welcome to Spike's Speed Run. Cowboy Bebop approved. All right, 30 seconds. Spikes everywhere. How bad are they? Okay. You can get through them. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh. Did it get all four of my tires? I don't even think I ran over it with two of the tires. That is incredibly inconsistent. <laughs> God. I mean, the car still drives. I don't think I can beat it in 30 seconds now though. Okay. So we got a problem. Uh, The very first challenge here is an easy win with the Wastelander, right? Just run through all this. The tires stay in one piece. So that's not a big problem. It's almost like those spikes just move your car around. At this point though, the police spikes just evolve way past the paleological period or whatever, and they insta-pop everything just about. Now those tiny spikes don't look like they've done anything. That's not too bad. Okay, here we go, here we go, okay. Maybe it's just the spikes in the beginning. These other spikes are kind of just like obstacles. They're not that bad. They do kind of pull your vehicle over to, what the? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> no, is this the anti wastelander measure? I can't squeeze through this. Hold on, maybe if I roll this, Hold on, I'm trying to like pull it up on the side. It looks like the wastelander could possibly get through here. I just need to perfectly align this. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on, work with me. Tilt, come on, yank it, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, God, no. Oh, wow, it does pop your tires, at least some of them. I lost one tire with that one. Okay, little spike slalom. Doesn't do much, just kind of increases my blood pressure, no big deal. Blood pressure is like 2100 over 5100. Now I need to make sure I do not touch these at, oh. Did that count? That counted for all the tires. So 
the injury from the spike strips occurs like six inches out from where the spike strips actually are. It doesn't, oh, the, <laughs> the cop car is kind of a little bit of a barrier there too. Not a great barrier, but it does something. Great. My suspension's all derped. Okay, how am I supposed to beat this? So, yeah, if you drive anywhere near it, it pops every single tire. Okay, I'm gonna need a thinner car. When the Wastelander fails, I'm getting kind of desperate. So I needed to try this just to be absolutely certain that there's no chance. The reason why is because it can jump. So I'm kind of wondering if I can just jump over all of the problems like this, see that? Okay, it ramps pretty good too, that's nice. The big question is, can I jump over this wall? Go! Ah, oh, all right, that was, I, I really hoped I could just jump around this problem, but the walls are just barely high enough that I can't get over them. I don't know if this is necessarily going to be better than the Wastelander, but the other cars are so low to the ground, I'm kind of concerned. All right, Redwood, wood my red. I don't know exactly where we're going with this branding here, but whatever. Okay, so far it doesn't look that bad. Uh, that one I need to pop way earlier, but I think we're gonna be able to make this through the stars, and yeah, okay. First try, still had a good three seconds left. Not bad. All right, spike speed run. Big thing here is to make sure you don't touch those spikes in the beginning, because those are insta-popping spikes. These ones here, not so bad. Now the Redwood Mobile does lean a little bit, so I do have to, that's what I was afraid of. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you wanna hug it. You just don't wanna hug it too much. Now, can it make it through this tiny opening? Uh, yes, it does make it through the opening. Sweet, I'm pretty sure that just hit a tire. Did it count? I don't know. <laughs> like I said, it's kind of random whenever it decides it wants my tires to no longer exist on the plane of Earth. Okay, through the little area. Watch the tires, overhead view. I absolutely hit that. At the very least, I lost the right tire. Oh, I lost the front tire, that's weird. Okay, how much of a leeway do I get here? I don't get any leeway. Straight up, look at that. I just lost both of my right side tires, I think. I wasn't anywhere near those spikes. Ow! Oh, these spikes are gonna drive me insane. Oh, these spikes need to calm down. Your spikes are at like an 11. Okay, I need you to bring that down to like a two. I think the best part of this is I love how all of the police, I'm just running them over. I don't even care at this point. <laughs> okay, this car's not gonna make it. All the cops don't even have to do their job. They just leave everything up to the spikes. I guess I would do the same thing. I hate my life right now. How much are these spikes getting paid? Because they're doing a pretty good job of making me hate myself. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, I just need to, oh, this is gonna be close. Whoa, okay. Good enough. Time for a speed run. Okay. Now this does corner pretty good. Now this does corner pretty good. I just got karma. I shouldn't have said anything. Every time. It happens every time. Just focus, Gray. <laughs> there we are. Very good. Think of the past. Actually, don't think of the past. The past, the past is very painful. Think of the future. You know what? Don't think of the future either. The future is very painful. Ooh. Okay. Hold on, that's the first time I got- Were those spikes on the side of the wall? <laughs> I only saw that for a split second, but it looked like there was spikes on the side of that wall. I was gonna say, the, the past is painful. The future is painful. Christmas past is painful. All of the different Christmas ghosts, well, I don't want to deal with any of them. They all cause me nothing but heartache and stabbings. I have been stabbed a lot. I am a professional stabby. Okay, don't touch the wall. There we go. Oh, they're on both sides of this wall. I think I squeaked past it. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, how am I gonna do that? Those spikes are almost all the way to the curb. Okay. So, I came back here to check this. I'm out of time. But what I wanted to see is if I can roll it. And I can. Look at that. I can roll over the spikes. And, oh, and then I get a repair kit. So even if I just get these ones popped here, I can still regenerate. The only thing I need is a perfect run. Is that too much to ask for? The answer, oh yeah, here we go. The answer's probably yes. I think I may have touched, oh, nope, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Everything's fine. Everything's not fine, through the center. <laughs> well, that was completely graceless. Oh, oh, that's good timing. Then we're gonna get close. Then we're gonna get through the middle. We're gonna roll it. 
We're gonna roll it. Yeah! Oh, I almost went off the side. Welcome to Guitar Hero Spikes. That sounds absolutely awful. I do feel like Guitar Hero and Spikes should have never been put in the same sentence, but that's kind of what these boards are. And when you look at it, you understand why. Oh, it goes both ways. It Guitar Heroes toward me, and then it Guitar Heroes away from me. What song is this? I kind of wonder if it's a real song or if this is just a random challenge. And they insta-pop your tires. So somehow, I'm gonna need to do this perfectly. Now, there is kind of a cool thing here. In, well, if I can jump, I don't know if I can get over this uh, platform. Hold on, let me try and get over this. Oh God, this is so painful. Come on, hop over, there we go. The good part is that we get a repair kit, so you can try again. I get the feeling that they put that repair kit there because they know it's going to take a thousand tries to have any chance of beating this. Okay, all right. So three on the side, three this way. I'm screwed, I hit everything. Oh man, and if I slide off, I'm gonna have to go all the way back to the beginning. Fortunately, the rest of this challenge isn't too bad. Who's your day? Whoa! Ooh! Well. Uh, I didn't know that my car was allergic to being placed in handcuffs. We meet again, Guitar Hero Spikes, for what I assume will not be the last time. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no, oh god. You've heard of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. This is like Greystill plays his infinite nightmare. Ah. Okay, um. Man, I need something that hugs the road, like really good. All right, you two are my last choices. I mean, I'm not really happy with either one of these choices, but we're gonna go with my side-by-side. -side. I'm always happy when the side-by-side -side gets to claim victory in a challenge. Okay. Oh yeah, ooh, okay, whoop. hey, ho, oh, well, the side-by-side -side is very bouncy. Never thought that having the properties of a masochistic rubber ball would help me in this type of challenge, but wow, it is! Oh my god, I can save this, hold on, no, never mind. The amount of unholy force that the side-by-side -side gets going off of the spikes is amazing. Okay, so I think I can get this, hold on. As long as I don't go up the side, I need to be very careful about the ramp spikes there. That's probably one of the hardest areas, but I think I've got like four seconds left. Three. Oh, nope, didn't have enough time. Okay, as long as I ta- Oh my god. Oh, never mind. Oh my god. As long as I oh, stick on top of the ramp spikes. There. Nice and patient. Over these. Over the snowflake spikes. And got it. I can do this. Still had two seconds left. All right, how's it do on the speed run spikes though? Now it is very narrow, I hadn't really thought about that. Oh, it is really narrow compared to the other cars. Oh yeah. Oh, I got tons of space to work with. This feels great. And this is a 30 second course. Getting through this should be really easy. Wow! Yes! No! Ow! Don't mind me just failing at life as you do. Ugh. I need to go to the left. Oh, and I lost the tire too. I don't need to blast this at full throttle the whole time. I can take my time a little bit around here. A lot of this is about where you, oh God. Oh, okay, I still got my tires, it's fine. Never mind, it's not fine. <laughs> not gonna lie, kids, don't run from the police because you don't want to get spikes tripped. Oh God. I cannot believe that I still have my tires right now. It, it's almost like I could just, ah! No way! What I was trying to say is it, it's almost like the hitbox on the spikes are over to one side. They're kind of like over to the right or something. So if you go closer to the left, you don't end up popping them. You know what I mean? Like right there, like closer to the left like that. Now this is really hard, but we're still doing really good. Oh, I got it, I got it. Hold on, I don't even care. Pop my tires. Oh, I fell off, no. I need to be able to do this. Hold on. And then hug. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There. Guitar Hero with the side by side. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, the turn radius is so much better. Like, it's so. Well, what the? What just happened there? I have no idea what just happened. It looked like the spikes teleported for a second or like they glitched out. I really don't know. I mean, we're doing great so far. I don't know what it is. Oh, this is it. Did I. Did I get past it or the. Whoa! What is that? It came out of nowhere, but it's okay. Oh, big ramp. Yeah? Am I good? 
I, I think I'm good. What is this? What are you guys doing? We got like a lunch break? I'm over here. You're pointing your gun way at the beginning of the challenge. He's like, listen, I'm not getting paid to shoot anyone. I'm just getting paid to stand here. All right. Spikes. Hot pink. Right in between the two most lackadaisical police officers in the entire universe. They have put their faith in this spike strip. I'm levitating on the spike strip. A human being dealing with spikes is hilarious. <laughs> oh my D! Okay, I really don't want to have to do this over again. So we're gonna line this up and we're gonna get a ton of speed and I'm just gonna let my tires get popped, but I'm gonna hope that the momentum carries me all the way to the end. If this doesn't work, I'm probably gonna flip my entire computer desk. That looks good. We have a winner and I have no tires. Well, I fought spike strips and the spike strips stabbed me in my happiness. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy, much love.